Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and today's Megabyte comes out of the story of Moses, Exodus chapter 19. Verse 6 in particular, the Bible tells us that Moses goes up the mountain and has a conversation with God, and the Lord says to Moses, tell Israel, I want to make them a kingdom of priests. I want to make them a kingdom of priests. This is wonderful. There are a lot of people that read the Bible and they understand that out of the 12 tribes that composed Israel, there was only one tribe that were priests. They were the tribe of Levi. It was the Levites that served in the priesthood. Yet God's original plan was to have an entire kingdom of priests. Today's megabyte, the priesthood of the believer. There are a lot of people that reach out to their spiritual leaders and say, we want you to pray for us. We want you to give us the word. Would you intercede on our behalf? And yet God's original intent was not that there are just a few men and women in the earth that have access to God, but that all of God's people would be as sons and daughters and that there would be a priesthood in every believer. Understanding that the priest had access to God. The priest not only worshiped God in ministry, but the priest also heard from God and spoke to the people. In our culture, we have presbytery and laity. We have a group of leaders that oversee and lead. They hear from God and speak God's word to the people. Yet that was not God's original plan. God's plan was that all of his people would worship, that all of his people would pray, that all of his people would hear his voice, that all of his people would develop their relationship with God and literally not depend on anyone else to go to God on their behalf. Hey, I remember coming up in church and we would testify thanking God for all of the things he did for us. And the testimonies would always end with this little saying, those of you that know the words of prayer, pray my strength in the Lord. Well, I have grown up and I know that there are no specific words of prayer. Uh, and then there is no elite level that anyone has that gives them more access to God than anyone else. The same access that I have to God, you have to God. But here's the thing. The priest had to be sanctified. The priest had to be holy. The priest had to wear certain garments. The priest had to have a particular behavior. And this is what the Lord wanted for all of his people. But if you continue to read there in Exodus 19, you will find that Israel, they were not willing to sanctify themselves. Therefore, there was only a group of people that would become the priest. Sort of, sort of shooting down God's original ideal of the priesthood of all believers or God's desire to have a kingdom of priests. And now here we are in the New Testament. And 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5, it says that we are kings and priests unto our God. Verse number nine of the same chapter says that we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. The Bible tells us in Revelation chapter one, verse six, and chapter five, verse 10, that the Lord hath made us kings and priests unto our God. So, you are a priest. That's right. You don't wear a clergy collar. You don't wear a long robe, but you are a priest. What I mean by that is, you have access to God yourself. You can pray for yourself. You can worship God yourself. You can get a word, you can get confirmation, you can get instruction and direction from God yourself. To come before his presence, you do that with singing, by worshiping God. The Bible exhorts us to be clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. The Bible says no good thing will he withhold from us as we walk up rightly before him. So as a priest, sanctify yourself. As a priest, be holy. As a priest, 
Don't let any corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. As a priest, make sure you give yourself to prayer. Be consistent. Honor the Lord's word. Honor your body as the temple of the Holy Ghost. And walk in the true authority that God has given you. His, his original intent for you, I should say. And that is that we would be a kingdom of priests. Not just the bishop, not just the pastor, not just the spiritual leaders, but all of us who name the name of Christ have access to the Lord through the name of Jesus Christ. That is the priesthood of every believer. I want you to go to my website and to read a book, buy a book, download a book, get another message on demand. There's a myriad of rich spiritual content waiting for you at ekcministries.org. And for those of you that are in covenant with us, you know that there is a divine connection. I want you to sow your seed. It might be $5 a month. Maybe you'll pledge to give $20 a month or even beyond. A one-time gift of $100, $500, even $1,000 you may be led to sow into this ministry as we have a great vision to impact the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Also, we want you to come to our service and allow me to minister to you face to face. Finally, become a part of our share community as we attempt to grow our viewership. I'm Bishop Eric King K. Clark, and this has been your Megabyte.